This is a PP700W, I just acquired it and today I got my silencer adapter from TR Rob I fitted it, that's ready to go but I've done a lot more customizations. if you're interested to see how it turned out, keep watching Right, as I said in the intro, this is the PP700W lovely gun, I've had it about a couple of weeks now we've done a video on it, me and Daz went out and bought each other's guns Anyway, great gun. As it comes, you don't get any sights with it. So I went to buy these red dot sights. And again, I, 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 this, I, I did a whole separate video on it. And that said 11 mil weaver, and that didn't fit 11 mil dovetail. So what I've done, um, I printed out um, a we, uh, 11 mil to 20, 21 mil weaver rail. Uh, I've done a few, oh, I've done quite a few adjustments there. So he wasted a whole day. Getting this to what it is now, it's gone through several um, changes and developments. So this is the final one I'm going to put on my gun. So but before I do that, I'll just show you some of the other stuff I've got here. So first problem I had, I couldn't get my red dot sight, so I come up with this weaver rail adapter, so I pretty much fit any sort of weaver rail type stuff on it now. But the um, you know that don't really fit the gun; that just look a bit too big. I've got this uh, sort of holographic projector type red dot sight, which I was playing with today, getting it turned in. I think that's going to be a lot, much, uh, a lot better. I say it looks really good. Some other things I come up with. Um, I thought about if you wanted to just have open sights on it, and what I came up with was uh, this is this is someone else's design. It's just like a weaver rail slow down sight, and um, you know that was okay. That just looked a bit a bit chunky. So um, I thought, right, okay, I'll make a slimmer one. I trimmed it down a bit. I also thought that might be an idea to take it slightly over the barrel shroud, which you haven't seen yet. So this was actually sort of sitting like that on the gun. And uh, yeah, I had a try on it actually shooting it. It works quite well, um, fit on the rail and everything. Obviously, once you've got your silencer on, some of these, again, you haven't seen it yet, but I've got a barrel shroud, which has got bullet insights. And once you've got your silencer on, obviously that raises your front post and the, the inbuilt sights, which I will show in a little while, um, were sort of ineffective. So I came up with these sights to negate that problem. Uh, came up with this one, where you don't need an adapter rail. This is just a straight slide on. Which yeah, is, that one is tight. That one is tight, and yeah. I want it to be tight, because once you put it on, you don't really want to be taken off if you no. determined you want to use that sight. Plus, and you, once you know how it shoots you don't want to slide you don't want it moving yeah. so I did have a looser fit one and I must say that is very nice I have oh. had a little shoot with it I think that looked good and when you see the rest of the stuff on this gun you'll realize um, how much better these these bits will look anyway so if you want to shoot just open sights with your PP700W you can do it um, there's all sorts of stuff you can buy but if you want a cheap way to do it um, you, you know you get some 3d printed ones oh, and before someone in the comments <laughs> mentioned we do realise that accuracy counts on the, that's better the longer the poster apart, obviously, but obviously, that's just obviously. if you want to blink Which is why out. I've done this longer one again, you can have it there and that overhung the barrel shroud, which I'll show you in a minute and you'll understand what I'm on about. Uh, so anyway, I've been playing about a lot with open sights for this gun and this actually works quite well. That raises it up just enough above your uh, silencer adapter. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the silencer off because um, and I'll start to show you all the stuff I've done with this gun, and I've done other videos on it, on Daz's gun, we had one of our viewers asked if he could buy a set of these things that I'm now going to show you. Uh, we've also had another another viewer ask me about the PPQ silencer adapter. Um, now I did like that, but unfortunately that's not very robust, and the threads will either snap or wear out really quick. Uh, best thing to do is if you, I'd say print it yourself or get someone to print it for you, but I wouldn't be prepared to sell something that's going to easily break so um, another viewer has asked about the shroud kit which I'm about to show you how you can buy it where you can buy it so I will put a link at the end of the video to my Etsy um, account I have got a few other things on there not a great deal that's just a hobby really it's not a business um, but if people really like what I've done here I'm going to put it on Etsy first come first served I'll put the link in this video now I've done a set like this for Daz and this other viewer and um, theirs didn't have this um, built in sights on. This is just on mine. I'll put paint on the back on the dots. So I'll just have to take, take I will have to take this off now. 
but that's why I've done this high one because once your silencer is on, there was inbuilt, so it's yeah. only just about clear the silencer. But remind me of the Gamble PT85 with that silencer yeah. on there. The old um, tactical, where yeah. Use that to push it. No, I got it off. Right, okay, that's off, and um, I have got a. So that that would be the perfect attachment to have on if you just had a stock pistol, and you couldn't get a sight for it somehow. How you struggled to get yep. a sight? Yeah, yeah. That that would be perfect. And this Do you is want so me to run it down the camera. That's so close to the barrel is really, and the distance between the, the sights that is a really. I've tried it. That's accurate as hell. Um, now, obviously there is a little bit, tiny bit of sidewards movement in that barrel thing, but it's got a, like a open slot there where, where it lines up with the bottom one. So I might consider doing them just in black to match a pistol with the built-in sights. You'll probably have to put your own paint in them to the colour of what you want. So this yeah, is the... That's one of the big things yeah. we're really printing, isn't it? This is the next bit, and obviously apologies to those who've seen the other videos. You've probably seen this before in a different colour, what I've done for Daz and the one I've done for uh, Matt. So. Um, Put the Picatinny rail on the front, and Daz asked me to do him a uh, GoPro mount for yeah, Picatinny, right. so I've done that. Simple print. Um, he can put it on the top behind his sights and hopefully get some through through the scoop sort of shots. So that's the shroud kit, and once you put your silencer on, it's, um, you've got to do a jump cut there so everyone knew you struggled getting it on. Yeah. yeah. And once that's on, uh, that is the business, but it's not finished because I've still got my picky rail to put on. Otherwise, I won't get my holographic red dot sight on. So that's, that's a tight fit, which is how I want it. Got the slot, got the slot down the picky rail, so you can still use them open sights if you want. So yeah, I had to redesign that again. I didn't like. I didn't like the idea. Not being able to use the gun bare, I didn't really want to have to take it off every time. So you can now use the open sights oh. with or without the silencer um, yeah. through it through the rail. And straight through the rail. So. so that was another little thing I had a bit of time playing with and fiddling with, getting that correct. I also done a longer one of these that overhung this bit. Um, so this basically went all the way at the front. And then the longer sight, which I'd done, basically butted up against that. And the idea was so that was in the same place every time. But really, once you've got your sight on, I mean, I'll show you this one. You shouldn't really have to um, take them off. You need to really just sort of be happy, decide what sight you want. And um, so that's with the picky rail thing. Obviously, that's raised it up a bit. So that's raised well your over your sight. Yeah. So you're over your silencer. Yeah, and for for more distance shooting, that'd probably be ideal. It's yeah. got a bit, bit built in, bit of elevation. That's yeah, good. You can see the the other one through the. Yeah, through the rail as well. Yeah, so um, I quite like that. In fact, um, I think that looked quite good. Um, and so I had the, the shorter version, which was quite chunky. But again, if you wanted a bit more elevation, it's quite you know um, for distant shooting. So it's quite a versatile, simple sort of open sight system. I might work a bit more with that, and maybe do a kit, all different ones, different heights. Uh, but I've settled for to stick with this rail and my holographic, 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 and I like having that mounted in the middle, so you can see a little bit of the greens of the rail sticking out at each end. It does look, that little scope looks really good up. I do, mate. And that um, I was zeroing this up today, uh, and I was just really enjoy shooting it and doing it. To be honest, that was uh, that was great fun. And this is quick quick to print a bear on your target. Uh, and I can use this without my glasses, Daz. Nice. Because I can just, that's, that dot looks smaller without my glasses and with them. And I've got different glasses, obviously, different strengths, but. Um, Maybe they had the old veteran shooters in yeah. mind when they designed well, I, I, like I, I've had this sight one, I've never really set it up properly on any gun. And um, I'm, I'm liking it. It's quick to print on the target. Um, well, I got it for that buck mark, didn't I? I'm sure I got it off um, you with, it, with yeah, the buck mark, yeah. Yeah, when I sold it to you. And um, yeah, I just. I don't know if that was just too short or what. I just couldn't get it to how the how that buck mark shot. I couldn't get it to line yeah, up on target. Yeah, probably. yeah. Probably that was too close a distance with the buck mark. Was yeah. this is obviously you can shoot a lot further. Um, that that looked the business. Um, so is that compared to that on there? That's, yeah, that's so I'm, I'm probably going to stick this on a rifle. Yeah, that, that's definitely a proper a test on it. Scope. 
Um, I quite like these modular sights that, that slide on and stuff. I like that. That one is nice. Even these other ones. This one I particularly liked. Well, it went all the way to there. Um, so yeah, like, I've been I've been love playing about with all these rails and stuff. So, but I've settled on this rail, which is the final, and that's a tight fit, which I want. That has got like a little slot, so if you screw this down onto it, that sort of grips it on tighter. I love these sights built into the barrel. Um, very versatile. So the kit that's going to be on Etsy will be the Picatinny rail converter, a shroud with the iron sights built on, and the bottom shroud grip with the Picatinny rail. That will be on Etsy. This colour, I'll try and get it done this week. So the viewer who inquired about it, I'll put a link on the video to my Etsy channel. Um, it's called the same as our YouTube one. So I shoot fish on the Etsy channel. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you like what we've been doing. See you soon.